Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is one that has been highly requested and that I've been wanting to do since I started nursing this little dude. So today's video is of what I eat in a day. I'm going to show you everything that I eat throughout the day, all the meals, snacks, smoothies, all of that stuff. You might hear Christian in the background or the toaster because it's currently breakfast time, which is a little bit of a crazy time for us. But I've talked a little bit before about how I had to really cater my diet for this little dude. So Mr. Arlo is just about three months old now and he had not too terrible of colic, but he definitely had colic in the first couple months. So his pediatrician recommended that I completely adjust my diet, that I totally cut out dairy, that I pay attention to what's bothering him. And so I have completely cut out dairy. I've also cut out eggs. I've also cut out gluten as much as possible. And then I'm also a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for five years before this little guy came around. So my diet is, you know, pretty limited, but I feel like I finally found Found some things that work I found things that taste really good but also help me feel really good and so I'll walk you through all of those today and without further ado let's jump into the video all right so it's currently breakfast time so we are making breakfast for the whole family um, I already got up and have my coffee like first thing in the morning I'm one of those people that I have to have my coffee very first thing in the morning. So I already had coffee and then I also like to fill up my water bottle as soon as I wake up in the morning and just drink as much water as I possibly can. I like to drink as much water as I can before having coffee just so that caffeine and coffee isn't the first thing going into my system. I really like these health-ish water bottles. I get questions about these a lot, but I like them because they allow you to track by hour how much you're drinking. So right now it is it's 8.50 right now and I've already drank in enough for the 10 o'clock slot, which is good. And I'm still thirsty, so I'm gonna keep going. But yeah, I make my coffee pretty plain. I just use my Keurig. But then because I do it dairy-free, I always get some form of like an almond milk creamer or some sort of dairy-free coffee creamer. Um, this one is by Silk and it's just the sweet and creamy flavor. Any flavor by this brand Silk seems to be the kind that mixes best for me. So I usually go for these plus it's a pretty, oh, it's a pretty decent size too. So it'll last me quite a while. Okay, so for breakfast, I usually like to have avocado toast. It's one of my go-to breakfasts. Um, I just use this gluten-free bread that I just get at my local Kroger. I have a few different brands of gluten-free bread that I usually get, but this one is my favorite because it seems to have the highest amount of protein, the less amount of fat, and the least amount of calories. And since I'm eating a lot right now, those are things that are important to me. So avocado toast, we put some seasoning on it, and then we usually make a veggie sausage of some sort. Christian loves sausage patties and sauce in the morning. That's like his latest thing. But this Morningstar brand is my go-to brand um, because they make these ones that are like, uh, oh, these are actually the original. I thought these were the maple ones. But they make a maple veggie sausage that's really good. Um, I also like their sausage links. And then I found these at Trader Joe's yesterday that we haven't tried these before. But either way, I like these because you can make them on the skillet or in the oven. I just pop them in the microwave. Don't hate on me for using the microwave. That's just what works for us because it's crazy here in the morning. So yeah, we're gonna whip together some of that and then we'll be back. If you don't have a Kroger near you, these are both a couple other brands of gluten-free bread that I like. This one is the Three Bakers um, brand. I don't know if they have good bagels too, I think. And then this is the Udi's, which you can typically find, or Udi's, I don't know how you pronounce it, Udi's, but you can typically find this in the frozen section at even like Target or anywhere local like that as well. So this one may be a little easier to find, but the Kroger one, I just like the nutrition facts on it a little bit more. Okay, so breakfast is served. So I have my water that I've drinking even more of, which is good. My gluten-free avocado toast, veggie sausage, and then it would not be avocado toast if I didn't use this everything but the bagel sesame seasoning from Trader Joe's. This stuff is amazing. Um, I use it every single time I make avocado toast and it just adds so much flavor. So super simple, just nice and light, but it gives me the energy I need to work out and get my day started. So 
Jordan and I were talking about the avocado, avocado toast while we were eating it for breakfast. And um, I was telling him how the gluten-free bread I like a lot because the pieces are so much smaller, which you may or may not like. Um, but for me, I like it because I like the taste of bread and I like to have like a little bit of it, but a typical full-size bread piece will fill me up too much and hurt my stomach probably because it has gluten in it and now I'm not used to it. But so that's why I like the smaller pieces. They're actually like much better for my preference. And I was thinking about it and before I cut so many things out of my diet, I would make the exact same thing but with a fried egg on top. And it was so good, like avocado toast with an egg and then that seasoning on top is so good, but I had to cut out eggs. But if you don't have to cut out eggs, I would recommend trying that too. But now it's time for juice. So recently I've really gotten into juicing. I got this juicer for myself right here off Amazon. I'll link it down below. Last time I looked, it was unavailable. It was sold out, but um, they'll probably restock it. But I've really been liking to make juices in the morning because they give me so much energy. And I have found that since I started doing this and drinking juice, um, like fresh fruit, fresh squeezed juice, I found that I haven't felt like I needed a second cup of coffee. I don't feel like I need Starbucks. Like it keeps me going. It keeps me motivated. I'm getting some of the nutrients. I need Christian likes to drink the juices too. Oh, my hair Christian likes to drink the juices too and I'm getting a lot more greens in my diet that way so it's just something fun I've been doing I've really been enjoying it and I usually will either have one when I first wake up I'll have juice with my coffee and water before breakfast even or today I knew I wanted to make juice for this so I held off and I'll have it like mid-morning so that's what I'm doing right now um, I have I'm getting out like all my vegetables I'm gonna make a carrot juice and a beet juice I already have green juice in my fridge that I made yesterday. So today I'm gonna make carrot and beet juice and then I'm gonna have some carrot juice right now after I make it too. It's so, so, so good. All right, so these are the juices we made. We have the carrot juice blend and then the beet juice, the little detox drink. So Jordan and I are going to have the carrot juices today, probably while we go on our walk in just a second. And then I saved the pulp from each of them. I'm still trying to figure out a good way of using the pulp, but I think that these will be really good in muffins. I think these will be really good in muffins or baked goods like that. So that's what I'm planning on using them. Four, but I just hate to waste it. I hate dumping out this after I make juice. So I like to save it and try and experiment, figure out something that works. And then these bottles I just got on Amazon. I love them because they hold a good amount. They're 17 ounces each, so they hold a good amount of juice and then we can take them with us on the go. So I'll link those down below with my juicer as well. Mm. You like it? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we are back from our walk now and it's snack time. Um, it's actually lunchtime, it's 12 o'clock now, but I feel like we've gotten a little bit of a late start to the day. This is just some like Arlo drool on my sweatshirt. But yeah, it's 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna have a snack and then we'll probably have lunch in a couple hours. So what I'm having as a snack are these overnight oats. I love overnight oats because they fill me up. This is actually enough in here to be a completed meal too. So I definitely won't eat the whole thing right now because um, I just want a little bit, but they fill you up. They're super healthy. I can make them with basically whatever I have laying around the house to mix together. They're super easy. Just throw them in the fridge and then they're ready the next day. So I made these last night and all I did was add half a cup, about three fourths cup, somewhere around their oats. And then I use milk with them. I typically like to use Christian's milk because it's an almond cashew milk blend that has a lot of extra protein in it. So I like to make them kind of like a protein mix, but we ran out and so I had to use coconut milk instead. That's what we had around the house, which was fine. Um, so I used coconut milk, 
And then I add some brewer's yeast, chia seeds, and flax seeds because that's going to help make it lactation friendly. Those are all boosting milk supply as well as the oats. Oats are proven to boost your milk supply or help support your milk supply. So those three ingredients in combination with the oats really make this kind of like a superfood lactation snack. After that, I use a dairy-free yogurt and add that on top because it gives it such a cool, creamy texture in the morning when I'm eating it. I do this with whatever flavor dairy-free yogurt I have around the house. So this time I had like a peach mango. On top of that, I add some cinnamon and then fresh blueberries on top and you get this beautiful little concoction and then I mix it all together and it's ready to eat. This is also such a good like satisfier for a sweet tooth. I have such a bad sweet tooth. I love to snack. I actually have a yummy sweet snack that we're going to probably make, I'm sure, at some point today. Um, but this is a good replacement too and the oats are just like nice and healthy. And like I said, super filling. I could easily eat this whole thing as a meal because it has so much goodness in it. Um, but I'm just gonna snack for now. It's seriously so good. And I get these cute little snack jars at Target. I actually just found them in the dollar spot section. It was like a pack of two for $3 or so. They have these really adorable lids. This is just a little snack. So good, love it. So good so i said i wasn't gonna eat the whole thing and then i ate almost all of it whoops now i'm not gonna be hungry for lunch for a while okay i can't stop eating Okay, it's 3.20 now. As you can see, we finally got a little bit ready. Um, it's time for lunch. I wasn't really hungry. Those oats totally filled me up and Jordan wasn't that hungry either. And then we both worked out and we got ready and showered and everything and now we're hungry. So this is kind of like a lunch dinner. We end up doing this a lot of times where we'll have a really late lunch and then maybe like a lighter snack later in the day. So we'll have to see how we feel. Um, but I'm excited for this dinner slash lunch. I guess, because um, we're going to make homemade pizzas. So we are a big pizza family. Like we love pizza more than your average person. But with my diet right now, I can't eat your typical pizza. One, because of the cheese, like it's just a no-go, but also because of the red sauce. So Arlo's pediatrician recommended that I cut out marinara sauce or tomatoes or anything red like that. So I'm going to make homemade pizza and show you guys a pizza that I've been making a lot where it's I'm using pesto as the sauce and then I just put vegetables on top. And I'm not using any cheese, it's pretty plain, but it tastes really good. And I'm actually going to make my own homemade pesto, which I've never done before, but you know, instead of doing store-bought, I just thought I wanted to make it from scratch and start doing more of that. So I got a food processor here that I'm excited to use. I'm also going to do a version of the pizza with hummus, and this is inspired by a restaurant from my hometown, actually a Lebanese restaurant. So I'm going to make a version that has hummus as the sauce and then like a ground beef. And I am gonna use a little bit of chopped tomatoes, but not too much. Um, and we're just going to play around. So I'll show you guys how it turns out. I'm excited to test it out. Like I said, some of this I've never done before, but it's what we're doing right now. Okay, so I have two different kinds of crusts here. This one from Trader Joe's, I absolutely love. This is a broccoli and kale pizza crust. They also have a cauliflower one that's really good. But then this is a gluten-free pizza crust that I just got at our local Ralph's, again, like a Kroger. I think I'm gonna use the gluten-free one only because it came with two different crusts inside, so I can just use the same crust for both pizzas and test out how they look. But this one is really good too, so I'll save that one for later.
Okay, so this is how our pizzas turned out. They look so good. And then we have lots of leftover veggies. And then I had enough hummus to make a whole extra cup too. We had leftover pesto as well, but I think I'm still fine tuning the recipe. I'm excited to dig in. They look so good. All right, Bubba, what do you think? All right, so now it's the end of the day, if you can't tell by my hair. But it is 7.30 and so we are trying to wind down our day, but this is typically when Christian gets like a second wind. So he's being crazy. But we're making like an evening snack that I wanted to show you guys because this is the last thing I'll be eating today and it's something we've been hooked on. So, <laughs> my goodness. So lately we've been obsessed with these little cookies, these Sweet Lawrence cookies. So I follow Alex Garza. I don't know if you guys follow her and she's always talking about these on Instagram. So one day I was like, okay, I'll try them because they're dairy free, dairy free, they're gluten free, they're vegan, peanut, tea, tree, peanut and tree nut free. I don't know why that's hard to say. They're pretty low fat and just like, they don't have any of that stuff that I can't eat and I love having like a sweet treat at the end of the night so I decided to try these and Jordan and I have become hooked on them they have like a double fudge one that's super good they have a sugar cookie one that's super good we pretty much always have one of these in the fridge they're so good it's super dangerous so we like to make like two for each of us and I'll just have two of these as a snack it's like 240 calories for the two cookies so they're 120 a piece and because there's no dairy and there's no eggs or anything in it they're vegan you can eat the cookie dough raw so Jordan loves to sneak the cookies raw from the refrigerator before I have a chance to make them but but it's become like our go-to evening I don't know what Christian wants to do okay wow <laughs> <laughs> but it's become like our go-to evening snack. So that's like our sweet treat in the night. I'm gonna go eat that. This kid is trying to ruin it for me and I will not let him steal my cookies. I think I'm gonna add some strawberries on the side too just cause we have a lot of strawberries and they sound really good. But there were a couple things that I wanted to make today that we just got so full like I couldn't fit any more food in me. So I will definitely do another one of these coming up soon. Let me know if you'd like to see that. If you like what I eat in a day is cause I have a bunch of ideas and I'm having fun with this kind of like restricted diet that I'm on due to colic, which will be a whole nother video too, I'm planning. It sounded like a lot of you guys wanted to see that. So I'm gonna go enjoy my cookies. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one, bye.